Former Japan coach Halawazic still baffled over firing. Tokyo, app, Vahid Halawazic defended his ability to communicate with his players and said he still doesn't understand the real reason he was fired as coach of Japan only two months before the World Cup. Japan fired Halawazic on April 7 and immediately replaced him with Akira Nishino, the technical director of the Japanese Soccer Association. To explain the abrupt firing, Association President Kozo Tashima cited communication problems and his players losing trust in the coach. But Halawazic said there were no such communication problems and no indication of a lack of trust. In my three years here, I never had a problem with anyone, Halawazic said Friday. The lines of communication were always open. We had great communication with the players and staff. The end for Halawazuk came in two international friendlies last month in Europe against non-World Cup teams. Japan salvaged a 1-1 draw on the last kick of the game in a friendly against Mali, and days later lost to Ukraine 2-1. Those games were for preparation, I wasn't so concerned with the results, Halawazuk said. I was giving some younger players a chance but nothing was set. We were building toward the World Cup. Halawadzik did concede that he could be tough and was aware several players were unhappy about playing time but said that is part of sports and can happen on any team. We built a spirit like a family, Halawadzik said. The Japanese and foreign staff mixed well, we all went out to dinner several times together. When we booked our place to the World Cup it was like a gift from the players to me. If anyone was guilty of a lack of communication, Halawadzik said. It was the JFA. They came to me and all of a sudden said we're making a change, there was no advanced discussion. It came as a total shock to me and my staff, Halawazuk said. As for a lack of trust, Halawazuk said he got numerous messages from players telling him how much they appreciated his guidance and how he was like a father figure to some of them. Japan will be playing in its sixth consecutive World Cup but has only twice reached the knockout round losing both times in the last 16. It reached the knockout stage in 2002 under French coach Philippe Troussier, it was the co-host that year with South Korea, and again in 2010 under Japanese coach Takeshi Okada. Nishino is the former coach of Japanese club Gamba Osaka, and also coached Japan at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. Japan opens the World Cup on June 19 against Colombia and also faces Senegal and Poland in group play. Halawazic guided Algeria to the last 16 at the 2014 World Cup, where they lost to Germany in extra time. And the JFA had been hoping he could create a similar breakthrough for Japan. I will always support Japan and wish them the best, Halawazic said.